Rudy and Sidney Powell sounded like lunatics. I mean, put aside the hair dye streaming down Rudy's face, the things he was saying were so demonstrably false that last night Tucker Carlson over on Fox called BS on this team that um, Phil just described, these, these lawyers who aren't even associated with some of the lawyers who've associated themselves with Trump's other trespasses. Uh, I, I want your thoughts on that. I also want your thoughts on, on the process. Um, the certification and some of the key straight, it's today in Georgia and the Republican Trump supporting Secretary of State is holding the line on democracy and on the vote there and certifying Georgia's vote for Joe Biden. Uh, next Tuesday is Nevada's deadline. Monday the 30th is Arizona and Tuesday, December 1st is Wisconsin. Do you, do, you know, someone said to me last night that we're overestimating Trump if we think he has a strategy or even knows when all those dates are. But what do you what do you think the next um, few days hold for our country and our now fragile democracy? Well, Nicole, it's infuriating that we're even having to talk about certification deadlines in a race that wasn't that close. So we should be well into the Biden transition now. Trump had conceded and beginning to plan how to manage the dark winter that's coming for he and his family. But based on the certification deadlines, uh, by the end of the day, Monday, uh, he will be certified in enough states, Joe Biden, to have over 270 electoral votes. It uh, doesn't mean that Trump won't continue to try and raise money uh, in the biggest grift in American history. That will continue. Um, but the, I think the story here is these two Republican legislators, uh, hard to get in their mind, get, you know, given what they're doing today. But my sense is once it got out that they may come, they thought it was impossible not to because they might lose a Republican primary. And that's really the story here. I mean, Trump is uh, standing himself in historical fashion. Uh, he was already the worst president, in my view. Uh, now he's probably the most unpatriotic person in the country's history. Um, so he will live in infamy. But to still have this many Republicans either openly supporting. So Ronna McDaniel, the chair of the RNC, didn't show up. But the social media accounts uh, of the GOP uh, praised that press conference yesterday, which was a freak show. I mean, they're talking about basically Hugo Chavez's ghosts rigging the election. OK. Uh, and so, uh, you know, Cole, you and I have talked about this. What Trump is doing, it's not strategic. He doesn't have a plan. It's not going to work. It's hapless. But the damage here will be with us for a very, very long time. When you have this higher percentage of the American people not believing the results of this election, not believing that free and fair elections can be trusted. Uh, and I think you're going to see Republican politicians in the next two election cycles, at a minimum, pull this card. Uh, as if the votes don't matter. So mm -hmm. this is the underpinning of our democracy, uh, that we uh, believe in self-government, that the vote is sacred, and that people who lose elections acknowledge that result. This is the first time in American history that's not happened. Uh, and that stain will be with us for a long, long time. Um, I, I agree. I, I, someone said to me last night that losing um, takes a bigness that Donald Trump is not capable of. Um, and I think um, former President Obama obviously didn't lose in, in 2016, but he has spoken about how difficult it was to make those calls. But he threw open the government to a Trump transition. I mean, David Pluff, what, what do you make of it's 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 not just a freak show without doing terrible harm, not just in the long term to our democracy, but in the very short term to our ability to respond to the covid pandemic and our ability to have continuity of government in the national security agencies. Trump is doing real damage right now. Well, yeah, Joe Biden is now having to raise money from citizens for the transition because Trump will not yeah. engage in the peaceful transfer of power. Listen, talking to Barack Obama during that period, uh, it was incredibly hard, obviously, uh, but he believed so fervently, you know, both in terms of his studying of American history, but both also how President George W. Bush and his administration had handled that transition. It is not a long time from Election Day in this country to inauguration. Uh, I did, you know, you'd like yeah. years or certainly months, but you only have two and a half months to put together your government. So every day that you're not able to do that is a day wasted. So yeah, our ability to deal with the pandemic, uh, our ability to really uh, begin to work with our allies in a more uh, cooperative sense uh, is, is hamstrung. Uh, and that's the other thing. I mean, Trump has spent every waking moment, every tweet, every breath on these conspiracy spirit, uh, theories because he doesn't want to admit he's lo losing. Uh, he's not paying attention at all to the virus, which is now much worse than it was right. uh, back in the spring. So, so, yeah, there are real consequences in the short term. But I really believe something fundamentally has been broken here. 
around this country's belief. We've always been unified in that. We fight hard. We fight as, as hard as you can to win an election. But if you lose it, you congratulate your opponent, wish them well, and move on. And to have the president of the United States, who basically leads a cult now, he doesn't lead a modern political party, and to have so many members of that yeah. cult, some who believe it, in my view, most don't believe it. And that's even more of a sin. They know it's all BS, and they're going along with it because they're afraid of him. Uh, and it is pathetic, uh, historically so. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.